we have here a pair of 19th century souvenir books relating uh, to the White Mountains in the center of New Hampshire. They're both quite scarce. Uh, this first one, it's, you see, it's a, it's a collection of photogravures. Uh, it's issued 1892 in Boston. This is the same publisher, same date, but it's a different book with different plates and printing method. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll just, I'll flip through it, and you can see that these plates uh, show the impression, the paper shows the impression from the plate. They're all identified with text facing it, so there's the old flume house, a wooden structure uh, that I believe no longer stands. Most of the uh, grand hotels and wooden buildings of the 19th century in the White Mountains, there's Profile Lake, uh, all burned down, Mount Cannon, uh, at various times, there's the old man of the mountain, which uh, his face in rock has slid down the mountain so he no longer is to be seen. I remember as a child growing up, my dad taking me there. I was a boy with my cousins. I saw him when I was a child. Here's the profile house. Look at that structure of all those giant buildings. All gone, I do believe. Okay, Maplewood. Oh, that's a great grand hotel. These are very finely printed images. Sinclair House. It's no more. And, yeah, Falls of the Amanusik River. And here is the Fabian House. Some of these have tears in the plate. There's a short edge tear in the blank margin there. That's a beautiful one with people and activity going on. Mount Pleasant House. Okay. And here we have Crawford House. Yes, these are all famous grand hotels. People would come stay for two months at a time, three months up in the White Mountains. It's beautiful up there. It's endless hiking trails, and yes, it's just wonderful lots to do. Crawford House, yeah. and Gibbs Falls. Look at that, there's the Frankenstein trestle of the Cog Railway heading up to the summit of Mount Washington. The Willie Brook Bridge. Right, these are all famous sites, and many of them can still be visited today. They're not going to look exactly like this, but there's the Mount Washington Railway, the cog that looks, I believe, that's when you leave uh, from the base. Um, yeah, I've taken that train several times to the summit. Really wonderful. Yes, that's it. You're at the, the train's usually behind you uh, going up, and uh, yes, it's, yeah, it's on a cog system. Here we are at the Summit House. That's been replaced by modern buildings, but there's the disembarkment of the passengers on the wooden platform there. Here we are leading right up to it. Lizzie Bourne's monument. She died there way back in, well, 1855 or something like this. And there's the Summit and the Tip Top House, which actually I believe still stands. I believe that's still there. And that's the final one. Now, for comparison purposes, there's this one, which uh, is 1892. But this one is only these views. The Fabian House, the Gate of the White Mountain Notch, White Mountain Notch from Elephant's Head. Here's the Falls of the Amanusik. So that's a duplicate one, yes. Here's the Frankenstein Trestle. And these have a different type of ink printing, I do believe. The Willie Brook Bridge, they look slightly different to me. Uh, it's subtle difference, minor, I think it's the ink color actually, it could be the profile there. And here we are at the Summit House, this one is detached and loose. And here is that monument again, and here is the railway as you depart from the base. And here is Jacob's Ladder, there we are, this one is loose as well. And there's Goodrich Falls, yeah. and that is it for this one. So this is like a, a reduced mini version of this giant book. And uh, each is scarce individually, but together it's uh, unique. And so uh, these two are available as a pair online from me, Brian DeMambro.